Welcome to Supers Live. This is a Super Modified Ultimate Pavement Racing Series, and we're at night two of the 14th Annual Keystone Nationals. And we're at Nazareth Speedway, the big mile, now defunct. Boy, that seems to be the, uh, the modus operandum lately, isn't it? Uh, after now finding out uh, yesterday that Indiana State Fairgrounds will no longer racetrack. Not to offend anybody that likes horses, but uh, when you've had a racetrack be a racetrack for over 100 years, I had to put gravel down on it. That sucks. Just like uh, Syracuse last year, just like what's happened to a lot of the great mile tracks that auto racing was founded on in this country. But tonight, we're at Nazareth. It once was a dirt track as well, and then it became uh, just shy of a one-mile oval. And IndyCars there as late as, uh, I believe it was the year 2000 was the last race at Nazareth. So we have only ever run here one time before. That was in 2017. And the winner of that race is the guy that won last night, Rocket Rob Warren. We welcome him to the broadcast tonight. Rob, uh, great run for you to kick off Keystone Nationals last uh, night. Uh, you have just as much experience as anybody about getting around Nazareth Speedway as a track record holder and a winner. What are going to be some of the key factors that fans should keep their eye on here tonight at this tricky one-mile oval? Key factors keep your eye on. There's a bump in turn two right on the bottom. It's about a car width. So if someone uh, likes to run the bottom like me, they better make their car run through that bump without getting it loose. Uh, if you run a little bit higher, you completely miss that bump, and it's pretty good, but that outside wall can come up quick. And speed, 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 and speed around that dog leg on the front. When we first came here a couple years ago, I think everyone was kind of lifting on that front stretch, and I finally got a setup that I could just pin all the way around the dog leg, and, uh, and made me quick. I was working with Kyle Clark and uh, and the Disturbed guys, and uh, and we got a setup there. It was it was fast, but man, Kyle Clark is really fast here. But I think the guy to keep your eye on tonight's Brad Keezer. Uh, gave him a little misinformation, and he overtuned the car to be stupid fast. And uh, I'm running pretty much the sister setup to that car, and he's got me by a tenth. And I know where he's getting me. I just can't train my brain to do it. So uh, keep an eye on that red three car. She be quick. Rob, uh, back in 2017, a few more drivers uh, part in the race compare as compared to tonight. But the time trials here tonight were very close. You and Keith Powell uh, just within about hundreds of seconds within each other there. Do you expect that the lap times will be as fast in the feature as what they were in time trials tonight, or will they be faster? I suspect they'll be a little bit quicker. Um, my car likes heat in the tires about three to five laps, and then she'll really start to eat. Uh, Brad seems to be able to get, a, get it going right out of the gate. I'm not sure about the rest of the guys where they're gonna where everything's going to pan out. But, uh, I mean, Brad's good out of the gate. I take three to five laps to, to get comfortable. I've always been that way, no matter what car, no matter what track. Uh, rhythm, rhythm driver. But uh, I expect to see the lap times drop for the three guys, four guys. Not Brad. Brad's lap times are already low enough. Um, <laughs> if he turns a two in the feature, I'll be not overly surprised but uh you know if he sticks around that three mark that he ran in time trials also not surprised uh also time trials no draft um i think the times will pick up in the draft that may mess with people that are using a lot of front wing instead of uh instead of chassis and suspension to turn the car it'll be interesting either way there's a lot of things to watch a lot of things going on tonight it's going to be an exciting race here tonight. Might be a little short on car count, but uh, the drivers are very close in times and speed. 
Rob Warren, your third quick qualifier, track record holder, and the only winner that Supers has had at Nazareth Speedway. Good luck tonight, Rob. Uh, looking to pin down your uh, fourth Keystone Nationals, and after a win last night and a good time trial run tonight, you're on your way. So best of luck to you out there. Thanks, bro. Good luck to you, too. And anything can happen. Anything can happen, and certainly uh, oftentimes does uh, happen on these big tracks that we run. And uh, super uh, part of just lots of different things going on. We've got quarter mile tracks, three eighths mile tracks. We've got one mile ovals, one mile uh, tri ovals, and just all kinds of different race tracks to run, including uh, with different platforms. NASCAR heat last night. Tonight it's our factor. Tomorrow night we go to the Randy Wickham Memorial 125 at Jennerstown Speedway, a race where Rob is also a champion, a, a three time champion of that race. So we've got some uh, great things going on. You you can become a member and race your own Super Modified online with Supers when you go to supers.net slash site and then click join tab. Uh, We have got some great merchandise that we're putting up in our brand new Streamlabs merch store. We'd like you to take a look at it and peruse it and see what you like. A couple of limited edition uh, shirts and uh, going back to our 2015 non-wing season. We've also got some ladies' merchandise, a couple of different coffee mugs up there right now. But you want to get your hands on some of that limited uh, edition merchandise, the ladies' uh, racerback tee with a 15th anniversary logo. Blaze it across the chest. You go to streamlabs.com slash supers online pound slash merch. Go to it right from the uh, supers online Twitch page. And you can get to it through one of the panels there. We've got our merch panel up right next to our donate and below our about panel. 